Now we have question number 13, part 1, um, from C12, June 2015, IAL paper. And here we are asked to show this particular expression we can simplify. Okay, what's happened here? There we are. Okay, so we want to show that this particular expression can simplify. Let's get rid of all these dots that I've made. Okay, so you've got sine x plus cosine x times 1 minus sine x cosine x. You've got to show that it becomes sine cubed x plus cosine cubed x. So you've just got to simply multiply just like in normal algebra. So sine x times 1 is sine x. And sine x times sine x cosine x is plus, oh, sorry, minus. There's a minus there, right? Minus sine squared x cosine x. Then you've got cosine x times 1, which is plus cosine x. Then you've got cosine x times minus sine x cosine x, which is minus sine x times cosine squared x. Okay, so we've got to show that this becomes, okay, um, that. All right, so we've got sine x. So what we can do is, is we, we see we've got a sine cubed and a cosine cubed. How is that going to happen? Well, that's going to happen if, for example, I make this into a cosine squared. I know that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So if I replace the sine squared x, okay, if I replace the sine squared x by, I know that sine squared x is the same as 1 minus cosine squared x. So let's do that. Let's replace that. So again, this is a type of question where you might not see the whole picture until you've done a few little steps. All right. So you're using some sort of logic here to do this, because I know there's a cosine cubed. I'm thinking I'll get cosine cubed if I have cosine x times cosine squared x, which I'll get when I have this, right? Then you've got plus cosine x. Then you're going to have a similar kind of thinking. Um, I can replace the cosine squared cosine squared x with 1 minus sine squared x, all following on from this identity. So I'll have sine x times, instead of cosine squared x, I'll have 1 minus sine squared x. Now let's see what happens. You've got your sine x, and you've got your minus 1, and you've got your plus, sorry, not minus 1. You've got your minus cosine x. You see, you've got cosine x times minus 1, which is minus cosine x. And you've got your minus cosine x times cosine squared x. That's a minus cosine x times cos minus cosine squared x. It's going to give you plus cosine cubed x. It would have been better if I wrote the cosine over here to start with. Minus cosine x times minus cosine squared x gives you plus cosine cubed x. Then you've got plus cosine x. Then you've got minus sine x. And you've got plus sine cubed x. So you've got sine x minus sine x. They disappear. Minus cosine x and plus cosine x, they disappear. So you're left with sine cubed x plus cosine cubed x. So there we have 13 part 1. I'll do part 2 in a separate video.